Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press bell button. We are going to talk about Meg Ryan. You know, the rom-com queen is making a comeback with a new movie called What Happens Later. It's been over 10 years since she graced our screens with romantic comedy goodness. But there's a twist in this tale. Seems like Meg and her movie want to avoid some drama. Taylor Swift, the pop sensation, is dropping a concert film called Taylor Swift, The Heiress Tour on October 13th in AMC theaters. It's breaking records already with $26 million in one day. That's more than Spidey's No Way Home did. So Bleecker Street, the folks behind Meg's movie, decided not to go head-to-head -head with T-Swift. They're playing it smart and delaying what happens later by three weeks. Mark your calendars for November 3rd instead. But that's not all. Universal also didn't want to mess with Swift's magic. Their horror sequel, The Exorcist Believer, was set for October 13th, too, but they're shifting it up a week. Meg Ryan's fans don't fret. The hash megasance, that's the Meg Ryan renaissance, folks, is still on, just happening a tad later. Get ready to see Meg directing and starring alongside David Duchovny in a story about ex-lovers reuniting at an airport after two decades. They're bringing what happens later to theaters on November 3rd. AMC Theaters is all in on Swift's film. They're not only showing it, but also distributing it to Cinemark and Regal Cinemas. And the tickets? Adults? It's $19.89. Kids? It's $13.13. .13. So if you're a fan of Meg Ryan or Taylor Swift, there's a lot to look forward to at the movies. Meg's making her rom-com return, and Taylor's breaking records with her concert film. It's a win-win for all of us movie buffs. Thanks for watching.